together for Horizon! Good evening. I'm Isaac, as was said before. Sorry, I've been here for, uh, it's all just tied up in here. You got me roped in, man. I'm trying to move around like a goddamn caged animal. Here we go. Uh, yeah, I'm Isaac. I'm from Los Angeles, but I moved here six long years ago because I, uh, I hate earthquakes. And uh, I love architecture. And unfortunately for me, the oldest buildings in Los Angeles date back to the early 1980s. And uh, six, six years ago, I met a girl here on Google Earth. <laughs> it's a great way to meet people on the sand and keep up on your geography skills. Um, I work in tourism. Um, I'm a guide. Which basically means I lie to people. Um, they give you a script and stuff, and you're supposed to memorize facts and stuff. But these, they don't know any better, and they get here and you point to a church. No, it's a castle. A count lives there. It was built by a blind monk and a pack of rabid squirrels. You can say whatever the fuck you want. Um, one of the benefits of tourism is uh, free beer. A lot of places bring people in and they give you free booze. And I got to know the owner of this place, uh, Little Glen, it's called. About, about that tall. And um, he's a good guy. You guys might have seen him. He was on uh, last, he was on the cover of last month's edition of uh, Rich Guys with Big Dicks. And um, actually, when he came here, he started small. He, uh, he opened uh, Bohemia Bagel. You guys live here? Familiar? No? Oh, yeah. so now it's like a massive chain, they're all over the place, but when it started off, it was like a modest business. It was just him in the back room, punching holes in bagels with his dick. <laughs> was, uh, I think his record's like 13, that's why it's called Baker's Dozen. I think that's part of his spiel. Anyway, um, I, was in, I was in New York last week, I went for some tourism conference, and uh, luckily it was Halloween. And uh, I'm American, and I've been kind of bigger for a long time, so I haven't really seen like the wholesomeness of Halloween. And it's if you haven't been in the state, it's amazing. It's it's gets a bunch of kids dressed up as like scary things, and it's it's really fun. And I'm sitting in the village and just watching people, you know, ask for candy and stuff. And there was a there was a couple that came up, and they were uh, they were perfect. He was uh, Fred Flintstone, and she was um, Wilma, and their daughter was a cowgirl. And I come up like, ah, oh, what's the matter? I couldn't go to wear the fucking Pebbles outfit. Like, thinking he's a New Yorker, he's not gonna talk to me, and he turns around, he's angry as fuck. He's like, bitch doesn't even know who the fuck she is. I tried to explain, Pebbles, it's part of the whole fucking family. I'm Fred, Wilma, watch the fucking cartoon. He's like, I wanna be a cowgirl, fucking bitch, what the fuck? I'm gonna eat her candy. He's like, really angry. And the thing was watching the whole spiel go down, too. Like, just, it was just, I could almost like just hear Christmas music coming around the corner. Like, it was just, it was such a nice Americana, wholesome thing, and then this, this kid walks in with like a cigar in his mouth, and a giant, I swear to God, giant trucker hat, huge letters across the front. It says, I came here to drink beer and fuck bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ruined the image for me. <laughs> While I was in uh, New York, I got my hair cut. Uh, I walked in, it was like, it was an Orthodox Jew, I'm Jewish, and he uh, had like a, a kippah and everything. He started talking to me, and he's like, What do you want? I was like, Well, I, my hair was down to here. And so I just needed to be long enough so I can tuck it behind my ears, but short enough so that it'll hide under a beanie, you know. And he was like, oh yeah, no problem. Like 20 minutes later, I give him 20 bucks, I walk outside and I do this, and I realize I look like a middle-aged lesbian. And, uh, <laughs> Thanks, slow-mo! <laughs> oh yeah, sorry. God, I can't believe that guy stole my bit. I, um, I brought a recording for you guys. Oh uh, God. Mine's a little bit longer than his. <laughs> anyway, it's a really, it's just a, it's a really clever, clever uh, observation on um, just contemporary art. Actually, I don't know you'll feel like this. And that's why Chinese bitches smell funny. No, that's not me. I'm sorry. I apologize. <laughs> that was. I apologize. That was really weird. Anyway, if you like this show, uh, we're doing another one tomorrow on the Charles Bridge at 3 o'clock in the morning. I also have, on December 5th, uh, we booked out the museum. Not the museum, under the museum, the metro stop, not the green line, the red line. People always make that mistake, they end up watching the gypsy band, a bunch of amputees, fucking show-offs. Anyway, um, we got here. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I work in tourism, so I work with a lot of different types of drunks. Um, and I'm American, so I'm kind of used to, it's like the vanilla of drunks, it's not really exciting, it's really similar. I should probably go 
go home. And, um, and then I got here and I'm dealing like Aussie drunks and it's a whole other level of like aggression. And, uh, and I saw these, these kids that I know, it was in the bar about a month ago, and I saw these, these Aussie kids and I put on my best Aussie accent and I go, oh, I know that cunt. And the guy turns around and goes, hey, Aussie, how you going, Mike? And he comes over and he says, uh, he says, it was a pretty good fucking Aussie accent, Mike. Can you fucking do it again? I go, yeah, sure. So I point off in the middle distance. Now I'm not pointing at anybody. I go, oh, I know that cunt. And as I did it, this fucking random, and he's blind drunk, like fucking days behind him, just, and he looks over and he sees me pointing at him and he comes over and he looks at me and I can just see in his eyes that it's all just happening on TV for him. Like, it's not even real. And he just goes, you can't call me a cunt. And I go, oh, and I'm like half a beer in. I'm pretty fucking sober at this point. So I start explaining myself and I'm like, you gotta understand, sir. It was a, it was a misunderstanding, actually. Um, what happened was I saw a friend of mine here just a moment ago, and I pointed to him, and I did my Aussie accent. I feel pretty proud about it. And I was like, hey, oh, I know that guy. He came over, and he complimented me on my accent. And he says, hey, can you do that again? And I said, sure. Pointed to the middle distance. I said, oh, I know that guy. You walked into my vision. I'm sorry. I apologize. I pointed right at you. It was a big way to understand. So I'm sure you understand. He looks at me and goes, you can't call me a cunt. <laughs> And actually, sometimes in Europe, they don't even have to be fucking drunk. And that's the thing, it's a true story happened to me like a month, uh, no, sorry, a week ago, it's a week ago. I, I'm, I'm in, uh, I'm at the Prague airport. And I'm dropping off like flyers for tourism, some tourist information, it's just the worst part of my job. And uh, I get out of my car and I'm walking with flyers up to the airport terminal. And there's this like fat 45 year old English guy, like waving, like just behind, just behind me, just waving to something behind me, probably his family or something. Just, <laughs> But with this amazing look of just happiness, like like the first time a little boy sees an elephant, you know, just like, ah, you know, just, can I ride it? Can I touch its trunk? Do they really never forget? And just do it as, and, and like, and, and so uh, I, as I pass him, I can't help it, and I'm, I'm an asshole, I, and I mirror that look, and I wave right back at him, and I'm like, like that. And I get another two meters past him, and he turns around and he goes, who the fuck are you waving at, you fucking muppet? <laughs> And I get like another meter, and I'm like, oh, fuck. Oh, I'm gonna say, he probably thinks I don't speak English, you know, whatever. You can say whatever you want. If people don't speak English, they turn around, are you really getting aggressive over that? Is that really bothering you? He goes, I'm waving to my fucking family, and you're making a fucking joke. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry, man. I apologize, I'm a joke maker. Continue waving to your fucking family. And he goes, oh, you wanna go then? Yeah? And he comes at me, and I'm like, look at this guy, suit, tie, fat. Fucking yeah, dragging his thing, he's got this like overnight the weekend thing with wheels, you know what I'm talking about. And um and uh, I'm like, no no, I'm backing up and stuff like that. In the States I would have been like, Rah! you know, this is whatever we can't fight, we're pussies. We we punch like girls and we bruise like peaches, I think. And uh but here it's like English and he just went from zero to pissed off so fast I had to run. I was like, no, I and he walks past me and then I realize you only get 15 minutes of free parking and then boom, it's 100 pounds. I don't have that. So like, I'm like, fuck. So I start, and he's walking in the same direction I'm going. He's going towards this the tourist information. I'm like, fuck, so I'm trying to like, with my flyers. And, so you fucking following me? I'm like, no, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going, we're going in the same direction. It's a small airport. And, uh, and then he goes, yeah, you're a fucking mess. <laughs> That's an assault on me! Before that, I was apologizing. I was a dick. It was all my bad. But now he's like totally come to me. Like, you're a fucking man. So I'm like, yeah, your wife likes it. Like, just stupid. <laughs> like, I can't see death when it's right in front of my face and just fucking, yeah, your wife likes it. And he turns around and goes, what? I'm like, no! And now I'm being reasonable again. We gotta understand. I'm the younger one. I'm taller. I'm slimmer. I mean, face it. When we stand next to each other, we look like the number 10. Just, you can't fucking come at me and be like, oh, you're a mess! And he goes, you want to go outside, Dan? I'm like, no, I'm a peaceful guy. And at this point, again, there's some weird circular thing going in my mind from like reasonable to dick. And, uh, and I just go right back around. I'm like, well, I already got away with making fun of his wife. <laughs> Let's get the kids in there. And I said, uh, I said, no, come on, man. I'm a, I'm a school teacher. He goes, really? Like, totally not believing my lie at all. And I go, yeah, no, I think your kid's in my class. Is his name Fat English Asshole Junior? And he chased me around the terminal for like fucking 30 seconds or however, like, however long it took him to get winded. He was like, yeah, yeah, you shit yourself. I, I kind of did. I was shit my hand shook for 10 minutes. I'm like, I said everything I wanted to say. Anyway, so, uh, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish Rachel with a story, a true story. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's something that like in my, it happened peripherally, like I really didn't want to learn about Czech history when I started being a guy. And then I, I was reading about, uh, in 2002 there was a flood here. A lot of you guys have been here for years and from the flood, no, it was bad, it was biblical, it was massive, it was fucking huge, they flooded out the metro system. Metro system? Yeah, almost said the metric system. <laughs> flooded out the metric system, yeah. It was so wet, we had to use pounds and fucking miles for uh, weeks. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, so then, um, and the flood water, it rose all the way to the zoo, and the Prague Zoo right now is like, it's rated as like a top five zoo in the world. It's amazing, it's really well done, but in the 90s up until 2002, it's run by just the lowest common denominator of zookeepers, like white kids with dreadlocks, like just classic, <laughs> classic bad decision makers. And, um, and when the flood waters rose, they're like, fuck, we gotta do something. So they went around and like just started killing really big animals. True story, I swear to God, they killed a bear, a lion, a rhino, which is fucked up, because I mean, there's like eight rhinos, right? There's like nothing left. A hippo, which I'm totally cool with, by the way. Hippos are fuckers. I'll fucking shoot a baby hippo in the face right now and feel nothing. And, uh, and then uh, and an elephant, because you can't have an elephant swimming around the metro system without a ticket. No, so... Uh, Anyway, so there's one animal that was like really, really stoked about this. It's, it's true, you can look this up. His name is Gaston. Gaston is a sea lion. And uh, he's sitting in his little enclosure, you know, looking over and just seeing the water come up over the rise. And he's like... Go get my ball. <laughs> Dives into the water, swims upstream, laughing, turn around every now and then. Makes it all the way to Dresden. This is true, hand to God. Anybody ever been to Dresden? Shithole. Yeah. We actually wanted to start a pub crawl in Dresden so we could sell uh, t-shirts that say, uh, I got bombed in Dresden. And, um, sorry to get political on you. So, uh, yeah, so, maybe he gets there and they find him and they bring him back and he dies. Oh, 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 oh yeah, yeah. The fucking animal you didn't know existed until just now is dead. And, uh, no, he's fine, he's fine. He's actually, he's up at the zoo now. They do a show every day. There's a woman who comes out, speaks like 17 languages. She's like, yeah, it's Gaston! And he swam down the thing and up the other thing. And we caught him eating things and he's the coolest thing we ever got. It's Gaston. <laughs> no, no, he really is dead. Um, uh, he had a, what happened to him? He just, uh, the flood water, it's dirty. It's just poisonous. Got into his gills. They're just big fish. And, um, yeah. No, he's fine, he's fine, actually. You can, it's true. You can go to the zoo, you can go tomorrow, you're like, is fucking guest on real? Like, did you see Isaac's show? No, he's fine. So, no, he's, he's cool. Um, you can go in, and you actually don't have to pay to see the show. There's a big aquarium, and you can see all, like, four of the sea lions that they have swimming around. If you look, if you really, you can see which one he is. You look him in the eyes, you're like, is that, is that Gaston? They're like, yeah, how did you know? Like, in his eyes, like he's seen some shit, you know. <laughs> no, he's fucking dead. He's dead. He's uh. Yeah, Megan, it was all worked out. I mean, if I could do it. No. Why would I tell you a story about an animal and have him fucking die in the end? It's fucking horrible. No, I'll tell you how he died. <laughs> Sushi bar bottom. I'm telling you, so it tastes like chicken and fish. It went down a tree. I'm not gonna. Nah, I'm fucking you. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna finish this with, uh, oh, there's my dog. Good dog. Yeah. He, I'm sorry, this is Baca. He actually doesn't look like a dog at all. He looks like fucking Danny DeVito in a bear costume. <laughs> <laughs> and that dude, thanks for coming out.